In today's video, we're talking content. Something that might already be obvious for some, but not for all. As the title says, we're talking about creating content for the right audience. We'll look at things to consider when you're posting on different social media platforms, like the style or vibe, as some people would say, a little bit of technical stuff and some examples from brands and how they tailor their content for certain audiences. Here's the deal. Different platforms attract different types of people with each their own tastes and habits. So posting the exact same video everywhere isn't effective, especially if you want people to watch your video. So what do you do? First things first, you need to understand your audience. Who are they? What do they enjoy? For example, TikTok users love short, fun, entertaining videos. If it's really good, you can get away with longer videos as long as it's engaging. You could say the same with Instagram Reels. LinkedIn users usually expect something more professional and more informative. And YouTube viewers, they're into longer, more detailed videos like reviews, tutorials, and vlogs. So it's really important to establish who your target audience is, and then you can go ahead and create content for them on the platforms that they're most likely to see. Now let's talk about customizing your content for each platform. Starting with TikTok and Instagram, you want to keep it short and engaging. Videos are often in vertical format and have eye-catching elements like titles, captions, or effects. You can also find videos here that use AI voice to drive the story of the content. And it's been a popular trend lately. The goal here is to stop the scroll. There is literally an infinite amount of content on these platforms. You could scroll for hours, but you wanna make sure that your content will stand out from the rest. For LinkedIn, you can go for a more polished professional look. A lot of content might feel corporate on here, but don't be scared to push the boundaries and stand out from the rest. Animated style videos or promotional content with voiceover narrations are some of the usual content you'll see on LinkedIn. Both vertical and horizontal content can work here, while vertical is more favored for those that scroll using a mobile device. For YouTube, on the other hand, viewers are usually more open to longer form videos. So you can take your time and go deep on a certain topic, like day in the life videos, unboxing new technology, DIY projects, whatever you wanna dive into. People love that on YouTube. There's also a bit more flexibility with YouTube since horizontal videos are the standard, but vertical videos are welcomed for videos shorter than a minute, which are also called YouTube shorts. From a brand perspective, you could take all of this insight and apply it to your marketing strategy to reach even more people, tailoring each content for each platform. Take Duolingo, for example. Although we're not Duolingo, I still wanted to represent in their green. On TikTok, they use trends and humor with their mascot to engage a younger audience. They post similar content on Instagram, but tweak it for an older demographic. On LinkedIn, they mix personal and relatable content to show off their company culture. And on YouTube, they go in depth with long form videos about their platform features and services. These are just some of the many trends on social platforms and they can change within the next year, maybe even months. So when considering how to tailor your content for each platform, make sure you're keeping up to date with current trends to see what types of content are getting the most engagement and even check your platform analytics regularly to see what's working. Okay, that was a lot of information and we hope you learned a thing or two for when you're uploading your next set of content. If you're looking to enhance your videos with professional voiceovers, make sure to check out our platform, voices.com. We have the best resources for finding the perfect voice for any type of content. If you made it this far, comment your favorite social media platform below or the app that you spend hours on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.